Mastering the key to fading images with a transparent gradient can be done in this crazy method. While gradients are nothing new in Photoshop, there are some features that many users aren't talking about. Let's jump into Photoshop. Gradients are typically from one solid color to another, but they can be used to change a background and even bring lighting effects into your project. Let me explain. On this image, I'm going to apply a layer mask, then the gradient tool, setting it from foreground to transparent, and black as my foreground. Applying a gradient on the layer mask gives us the ability to fade an image and give it that transparency effect. Using this photo, I will go ahead and select the subject and then click and drag to duplicate my layer. I'll add a layer mask and then select my gradient tool, making sure that I am still set to foreground to transparent underneath the basics folder. I'll click and drag a gradient onto my project and then double click on the thumbnail of the gradient layer. Here I can go ahead and change the color of the gradient to whatever I want. I can also double click on the gradient handle and change the color. By moving the handles around, I can adjust the angle of the gradient and I can also adjust the fall off rate of the gradient. Making color changes this way is super easy. Additionally, you can click right on the gradient line to add a new handle and assign a new color. Grabbing the handle, you can adjust the distance between one color and the other color that's in the gradient. To remove this color, I can just simply click and drag it off of the line. If I double click on my layer gradient, I can actually change the style of the gradient going from a linear to a radial gradient. All of these options give us the ability to move our gradient around on our project and give us that lighting effect that we want. Putting this together, I can add a radial gradient to my layer mask. I can adjust the shape and also grab the side handle to make my shape more of an ellipse. You can also fine tune your gradient controls up here with these sliders. Once you apply one gradient, you can continue to add multiple gradients on top of each other. This is a great non-destructive way to fade your image to whatever you want. But remember that the last gradient that you apply is the one that you can edit. So taking some images that I found online, I'm going to put everything together into a fan art poster. I'll apply some layer masks to all of the images and some shapes and use all of the gradient options to blend everything together. I have a texture overlay applied to this image. With a layer mask applied, I'm going back in with my gradient tool and just taking out the sections that I don't want that texture to appear. I'll quickly bring this into Camera Raw and make some final adjustments and then drop in some text. If you noticed in the making of this tutorial video, I used some lower resolution images that I found online. If you struggle using low res images, then I would consider watching this video right here where I show you how to upscale your images for free. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.